La Malinche, the sixth highest peak in Mexico, an extinct volcano. Today, we decide to reach the peak of this monster. So this is why up to the Pico de Malinche is the 23rd highest peak in all Mexico. We are circa in the half of the route. This is my compañera, Senorita Monica de Polonia. She's so slow, so we should be we, we should be already there, but she's so slow. We started at it around 3,000. And Puebla City is around 2,001 or two, 200. Yeah, there's two ways, so probably we have to go left. But it's, it's kind of chilly. It's not like dangerous for now. We meet some people. And it's during the week, so less people, less people are here. <laughs> so, yeah, like in home, but yeah, it's steep. <sighs> Look, you can see now. You can take my backpack if you want. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Fuck you. <laughs> Five. What the fuck? Five. It's no, only one hundred pesos. From Mama Real. From Mama Mexicana. Hola. Buenos días. Another perito on the way to the Pico de Malinche. It is Nastienka. So this is a campsite of the Mexican lumberjacks and it's still two and a half hour from the Pico. So we'll see. Hola, buenos dias. It's a puppy. We just meet yeah, he's a puppy, really. with these lumberjackers and they want the photo with Senorita Monica. Oh my god, I want to see him. I want to see him so tired. Like this puppy. Yeah. Hey. Cute. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> puppy Malinchi. Yeah. Hey. Hola, amigo. Vamos. Yeah. <coughs> ¿Dónde está tu comida? ¿Dónde está tu familia? Ya me sabe dale. I am the vlogger now, but it's very, very hard here. I don't know why, because I made a lot of hard trails, but this one. Wyjechaliśmy o godzinie siódmej rano i zamiast półtorej godziny było to prawie trzy, ponieważ żeby wyjechać z 
miasto, którym jest Puebla, należy liczyć się między korkami. Oh, he's here! So, first snow. Look at that. That's the ridge. And this is like for the water, but it's so huge. It's like two meters or two and a half, three deep. And this puppy following us still. Okay, and now we made meet another dog, probably the mom of this. La Malinche Strata Vulcan is situated on borders of Puebla and Tlaxcala in central Mexico. Yeah, oh. I just meet some Americans on the way. So nice walkie talkie, small talkie. Yeah. And yeah. getting closer to Pico de Malinchi. Legenda talks like Malinche. He's not like legend, but. Uh, Malinche and Hernan Cortes make, according to the story, the first mes mes Mestico ever in Mexico. Martin Cortes. So after this indigenous woman, Malinche, was this pig named. Really interesting story. And you guys, if you are looking for like more interesting historical uh, uh, like uh, explanation of this all, I recommend you to watch the Hernan is a series from 2019. It is like one season and it's my favorite. So there's uh, many explanation how the conquistadores made with these indigenous people. And it's not just only about the, the killing the natives or how we know it, how we learned it. Like Spanish were only the crucial and bad ones. Yeah was the critical time for the Mexico but it was not only about that they were like more clashes between Aztecs and then some of them were against the others and Hernan Cortes just used this opportunity and he makes allies against the strongest like Sikas from the Tenochtitlan Break. Lunch break. Oh! oh. <laughs> he take it. He found my apple. So how it's here? And I want to show this weirdo. Oh, it's coming. Puppy. Puppy. Yeah, she ate already. Where is my apple? <laughs> it's done. Yeah, so here you can see the end of the forest. When it's not cloudy, when it's like clear sky, it looks really, really cool. It's like like a end of the woods. Four thousand. Look, there's a tree line. Who is getting to be more steep? And we meet one one like a hiker or a ranger or someone who would who know this place and he told us like we have to read uh, reach it as soon as possible because after three it start be like more cloudy and you can see the peak it's so cloudy and we could get lost but I see some people they're like hundred meters from us so we could probably ask them or just stick to them in one group, like a couple of older Americans. 
we meet half an hour before they decide to, to not continue up at the top so it will be fun some picnic zone here and that's the pico not that far you could make it in 45 minutes i guess but it's really really steep and i saw some group are using this trail the heading back because these are like really steep but in that scenario if the clouds comes we could get lost because I'm not sure if this road maybe it looks easier but it's not heading to the same like uh, wood part of the woods and we have like our pickup in one specific place so we have to come back by same way my company are started feeling really bad uh, about uh, 4000 meters above the sea from the high altitude okay we are in the first major reach and it's very tall Malinchito a really experienced climber look at that I think we are in high uh, 4,000, 2 or 300 already. Wow. Yeah. Some group of Mexicans. Keeping it together. Give us the animals there. Oh my gosh. I have to do, do backpack now, but the clouds are coming. One hour it will be totally, and the clouds are coming. The ranger, we'll see. Attitude around 4,200 or 4,300 meters. I start feeling big pressure in my head. It was my first time that high, and my body was not prepared for it. Finally, look at that. Almost there, two minutes, 4,440, I think five meters. <sighs> this is the hardest hike I ever made. I would say like it was really beautiful. Five hours and a half, we finally reach La Cima de Malinche, 4,000, 
461 meters above the sea level.